Dr. Johannes Ternan is here, the editor-in-chief of the Journal of Nuclear Medicine. Thank you so much for being here. This is really the highest impact journal in nuclear medicine in the world. Talk to me about what you have been discussing is the renaissance in nuclear medicine. Um, mostly we have new therapeutic opportunities. It's, the field is actually called theranostics, which is a combination of therapeutics and diagnostics. And that has made tremendous inroads into the treatment of patients with certain cancers, such as neuroendocrine tumors and prostate cancers. Yet, mostly in Europe, we are not quite there yet. But we are uh, gearing up and we will have clinical trials and we will get this to our patients as soon as possible too. Can you talk about how important that development is, not only to be able to find the cancer, but to be able to offer treatments in this way? So the patients that have been treated, let's talk about prostate cancer patients, they have exhausted all therapeutic opportunities and have gone through many lines of treatment. And you still can uh, treat them and result in market improvements in quality of life, but also I'm pretty convinced quantity of life in terms of overall survival, progression-free survival. The patients do better. That's the first most important thing. But it's also a very non-toxic uh, therapy. It has virtually no side effects. Uh, it doesn't do any long-term damage. It's really a complete revolution in the care of these patients. It's spectacular. And it's important to get that information out to clinicians, clearly. The, actually, this is, this is mostly driven in the U.S. It comes from patients and urologists. I mean, the, that's maybe the most exciting aspect. That's, it, it is one of these things where you don't need to go and say, oh, I have something great. The phone is going off the hook. When can I get it? Where I go? Where do I get the images? Where do I get the treatment? It's patient-driven. That's why I know that it's, been, it's going to be a huge success because it's not something that we impose on people, but they really come to us. They, they want to have that. Of course they do, right? Yeah. Given this exciting time, what are some of the challenges right now, the things that you think are not being done that need to be? Well, it's a different business model when you compare to the pharmaceutical in, uh, pharma industry because there's no real clear stakeholder in terms of who makes huge profits like a drug company or something. So you need to find people of goodwill uh, who sacrifice their time to do that often without very selfish reasons. So it's going to be a mix of society, of nuclear medicine sponsored trials, fundraising, um, and then some industry component uh, putting money into this. We probably will need 40, 50 million dollars to do a phase three clinical trial, uh, which sounds a lot. It's much, much less than pharmaceutical industry uh, you know, drug trials, pharma industry costs, it's, uh, that's one to two billion dollars. So it's actually cheap. But we need to still find the people who do it, who can do this, and uh, who really think about the patient well-being in the first place. And, 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 and there's, there's clearly business, also a business aspect to that. Uh, there is a supply chain. There's, so there is some money to be made, but it can never be like the same same profits that you get when you go for when you go for uh, a, a new drug, for instance. So obstacles are, of course, regulatory always. Although the FDA is doing a great job, in my view, they are, over the last years have been extremely helpful in many instances when we work with them. Uh, but nevertheless, you have to do large clinical trials. You need to find people who participate in that. You need to do it at a fairly low cost. Uh, so yeah, but I think we can actually not, I know that we can do it. It's more than I think I know. Right, I mean, yeah. so despite the challenges, yeah. the future yeah, really totally. looks bright. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be totally different from what it is now. And that's wonderful for patients. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, Dr. Chairman. Thanks very much. Thank